James Cameron says pregnant women being shown as hunters and warriors in Avatar is a step forward for female empowerment. Oh, okay, so let's look at the article. It says here, Cameron offered his insight in this interview series. At one point during their talk, after recalling how during his viewing of the Avatar sequel, he was really taken by the fact that Zoe Saldana hunts while she's pregnant and had noticed one of the characters goes into battle pregnant, this person, a Robert Rodriguez, asks Cameron, why was that important? Everybody's always talking about female empowerment, he says. But what is such a big part of a woman's life that we as men don't experience? And I thought, well, if you're really going to go all the way down the rabbit hole of female empowerment, let's have a female warrior who is six months pregnant in battle. I mean, can you believe this madness? He says it doesn't happen in our society. Probably hasn't happened for hundreds of years, but I guarantee you, he says, back in the day, women had to fight for survival and protect their children, and it didn't matter if they were pregnant. And pregnant women are more, this is the best, and pregnant women are more capable of being a lot more athletic than we as a culture acknowledge. So this guy, listen, I don't know what's going on with him. It sounds to me like he's, he's lost his mind. His mind has been taken over by the woke. I mean, are we sure Bill Gates didn't put a chip in there or something? Then I'm not. Something's going on there. So I would ask you, first of all, who wants to see a pregnant woman as a hunter and, and, and on the front lines of a battlefield? Anyone? Show of hands in, in, in the chat. No one? Only sane people in the chat? Who wants to see that? Why? Is now the woke talking point that in the name of woke to protect the woke, we would actually want to endanger babies grown inside a mama's belly? Children are now sacrificed at the hand of the woke. Well, we know that to be true, as we see with a lot of what's gone on with the, the surgeries and medications being given to children in the name of gender dysphoria, which oftentimes is not gender dysphoria at all. We see that, right? But can you imagine that they think that it's a sign of female empowerment to have pregnant women? So women who are, let's face it, first of all, we have the idea of women being on the front lines of battle. Women are smaller than men. Women are weaker than men. Women don't have the testosterone that men have. Women don't have the lung capacity that men have. Women's hearts are not. It's just, we're just not as strong physically. We are not as strong physically. So that's mistake number one. But let's say you do have those women out there and whatever, front lines. Now you want pregnant women. So does he know nothing about pregnant women? So I was pregnant, so let me educate him a little bit. When you are pregnant, you are not at your peak level of athleticism, James. You are building a person. So you know what I remember being pregnant? And I always worked out. And I, by the way, had a trainer that I hired for the second and third trimester to work with me because I wanted to be active, but I didn't want to do anything that was going to hurt the baby. And you have to be very careful about things like squats. You have to be careful about bouncing. There are things that you have to be on guard about. One thing I noticed, by the way, when I was pregnant, my oxygen sucked. I felt like I had no air. I was like, I, I'm not, I have, I'm typically so athletic. And I remember my trainer who was a specialist in that area saying, your oxygen and your energy is going toward the baby. Like, it's not uncommon for women to feel like you're like out of breath walking up the stairs or, so does he not, I mean, has he never encountered any pregnant woman ever in life at all? How ridiculous that you would think, you know, pregnant women, and I had a great pregnancy, pregnant women get more tired, pregnant women, you know, sometimes you got the morning sickness, you got a lot going on in your body. You are building a human being. Literally, hands, toes, little eyes. I mean, you are making a person. Battle ready? No, honey. No. And honestly, how disgusting is it? Really, I don't know what to say that it really disgusts me that you would think it's a sign of female empowerment that you would put a character that's pregnant in a danger zone. Whatever happened to protect the women and children? Are we not allowed to say that anymore? Because that was a societal premise for so long. Right? You can see, you watch the movie Titanic, women and children get in the boats first. Why is that? Because children are the most vulnerable and women are the second most vulnerable and are there to protect the child. And if there's going to be a problem, the guys are there because the guys are the strongest. They're the biggest, they're the strongest, they're the most able to handle physical calamity. Do we have to unlearn all facts now just to please these woke imbeciles? I mean, this is getting ridiculous. Pregnant characters in the front. Are we incentivizing that now? I would love to ask him. Are you hoping that the military picks up this, sees Avatar and gets inspired? Maybe we can have a whole line of pregnant women getting into the military. And pregnant, they can go to the first lines of combat. I would love to see what this guy would say. I mean, really. How unbelievably disgusting to be living in 
honestly, can you, is there, does anybody have my DeLorean yet that I can get out of 2022? Pack up my husband and my child and go back to some other time where people weren't so deranged. And, you know, we laugh and people say, I see people going in and say, oh, Avatar is so great. I wonder how many people didn't even pause to realize the severity of what this guy's saying, that messaging out there. You know, people are going to see that. And you know, this is all brainwashing, right? And then they feel like, ah, oh, yes, it's so empowering. And what happens if, I'm guessing that in, in, in the movie, you don't have, you know, any sort of harm happen to that pregnant, that baby in the womb. But in reality, that very well could happen. And I know you say, oh, it's a movie, it's a movie. Yeah. Mm. Culture informs life these days. We all know that. So this was absolutely insane to me. Can you imagine sacrificing children, female empowerment? What does that even mean to you, this guy, James Cameron? I, I got to be embarrassed that I watched The Terminator now because now I got to know that this guy was behind it. How did this guy, did he have some type of split personality? Something happened to him? How does the guy that creates The Terminator turn into this? Something went wrong, man. Are we sure Bill Gates didn't get involved in some way? I'm just saying. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but, you know, sometimes you got to ask questions is all I'm saying. If you want to watch the full episode, you're going to click right here. And if you want to ask me a question one-on-one, -on -one, you want to do a one-on-one -on -one FaceTime with a group of your friends, whatever you want, you need to download Minect right now. Click right here and let's get talking.